Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Real Men Real Style. Today, I'm going to be answering the question, why do I ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel? Pretty much in every video, if you've watched any of my videos, you know I ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my videos, comment down below, grab my free 47-page ebook. I'm going to be talking about why I do that. I know some of you guys are annoyed by it. You've watched maybe hundreds of my videos and you're like, Antonio, you don't need to tell me anymore. I've already done this or I already know this. I'll explain why I do this, why it's important to me, why it's important to you, and basically why it's important to have a call to action. And that's where I'm going to start with. So these are called call to actions. And a great example is if you go to a movie theater and you're sitting down, all of a sudden you're about to enjoy the movie and they have that call to action, which is turn off your cell phone. Now, what happens? Everyone is reminded that turn off their cell phones. A lot of people, even though they know it's bad, at, you know, they know it's bad at it, they left them on or they may even be still talking, closing up a conversation. But that call to action, they actually go ahead and if you look around, most people do that. Not just because they're being told to, but they also look around and they see the audience, they see other people are doing it. So what I'm asking you there, I'm basically, I'm asking you to subscribe, I'm asking you to like. You can't see other people liking and subscribing, but what you can see is you can see people commenting. And I take that back. To a degree, you can see the number of subscribers going up, so there is a bit of social proof there. You can see the number of likes on a video, and when you do that, all of a sudden, it creates this social proof. So that leads to the number one, and I'll talk about the number one reason I ask you to do that, is whenever you have a good, solid, call to action. People actually do take action. If I didn't have that, and I've measured this on my videos, whenever I do not have a call to action, half as many people, and that's on average, it, I've seen it even drop lower, uh, but usually at least half as many people as normally would actually take action. Now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, Antonio, why don't you have the call to action at the end? Actually, the call to action at the end assumes that you'll make it to the end of the video, that you're not going to get distracted by something else you have going on. And so I put my calls to action usually right there at the beginning. And it's funny, I actually do a video, we actually do video coaching. My friend Ryan Masters and I, we call it uh, video traffic growth. I'm pretty excited about what we've been doing over there. And we've been helping people build up their YouTube channels. And it's one of those things that having that, what we call the 17 second power intro, by having that 17 second power intro, we see huge increases in the number of subscribers. Subscribers are important, uh, not only because, and, and I'll get into, Probably that's a good transition into part number two. So why is it important to me? Okay, it's important to the growth of my channel for various reasons. Number one is the more subscribers we have, every time we put out a video, it reaches more people. Therefore, the number of people that watch it increases and in Google's algorithm, and Google owns YouTube, our video is going to appear to be more important. So that first couple days, all the videos, all the views, all of the interaction, all the likes, all the comments, that goes into their algorithm and they'll determine where that video is going to place in the search engines. That's important because as people are looking for this information, and you, goes, you guys know I put together some pretty detailed information. I try to support my videos with articles. By doing all that, we feel that the best content is going to continue to rise to the top, whether that be the YouTube search engine, the Google search engine, or you're on Bing or Yahoo, will start to pop up there so that people who need the information can find it. So that's why it's really important to us that we ask for this because it makes our information easier to find. There's a number of other reasons as well. Advertisers, when people come in and they see, oh, you've got about 200,000 subscribers, they see we've got you know, well over 12 million views. All of this stuff sort of plays into their decision to see if it's worth their time to advertise with us. As we get a bit larger, you've probably noticed the quality of the videos have increased. That's a good transition into part number three. So part number three, it matters to you and it matters to you because the more subscribers, the more views that we get, in a sense, the more money and the more time and the more resources we're able to put into creating great free videos. In addition, I'm not, I'm not, I'm serious about, I put out these ghost videos. And if you're not subscribed, if you're not getting the email updates from YouTube, you're going to miss those. Now I do this because I wanted to have, I know some of you guys have said that it's a bad idea. Why would you put out a video, Antonio, that's only going to get about a thousand views, maybe a few thousand? Well, I wanted to have like a little bit of an insight 
Spider Club. I have Build Your Wardrobe launching, if it hasn't already launched, over at Real Men Real Style. And that that insider club, that basically a secret group that I've got going on, not really so much secret, It's but it is a group that has certain barriers to entry. One, you're going to have to pay. So that one's not a free program. What I wanted with these ghost videos is kind of have a way that you didn't have to pay any money and you would actually get kind of like a little bit of an insider, insider look. And I can talk about things that I just don't necessarily want public out there for forever. And I figure an unlisted video, it's still, if you want to call it, it still is public, but it's not easily as found as videos that I'm pushing out there. So the other thing is, you know, most of the calls to action, guys, I find that if you actually do like a video, if you actually do comment on a video, you are more likely to take action. It's a small thing, but it's a self-reinforcement. It's like an affirmation. Now, you know, you've probably seen these things where you can actually get these, you know, a lot of great apps. My buddy, uh, Ralph uh, Quintero over at uh, Happy Somewhat, he actually puts out uh, affirmations for entrepreneurs and it's simply you reading and every day you kind of verbally committing to become a better person. Now, some people don't believe in that stuff, but I believe that that is the first step to you becoming a better dressed, a more stylish man. And so if you're commenting, if you're taking action, even if you're not going out there and buying the clothing, if you're not going out there and necessarily improving your wardrobe at this point, you are slowly getting into the habit of making that comment, of liking, of being part of the community. And I really think that's the first step towards greatness. So that's it guys. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this. Now, call to action right here. If you want more, go over to realmenrealstyle.com. Grab my free 47-page ebook. Again, I use the call to action. It's important to me because every time you download it, I get your email address so I can send you more updates, but also because I can let you know more about my products. And point number three, it's valuable for you because this free ebook is actually pretty darn awesome. I could probably charge for it, but I give it away for free and over 200,000 men have downloaded it for free because it's valuable. All right, guys. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.